so this lovely, open, sunny afternoon, we're here with Luke Nicholas from Epic. And what we're about to taste is um, one of the new creations, which is the Epic Comet. So Luke, what is so special about the Comet? I have, uh, I have tasted it before and it's pretty special, but to you, why does this stand out in the series? Um, well, all of them stand out in the One Trick Pony series because it's an opportunity to highlight um, a single hop. This time around, it's Comet. Um, we started out with Xythos and then Mosaic, and now we have Comet. Um, Comet is, it's not actually a new hop, it's an old hop. It was a hop that was bred in um, 1961. It was became very popular in 1881, specifically with um, Guinness. But it fell out of favour because it had too much aroma character and also at the same time they started growing um, hops with higher alpha, which meant that they, Guinness could buy um, a lot less hops to get the same amount of bitterness. So it fell out of favour. So it wasn't grown for about 30 years and then one of the growers decided to start growing it again after they looked at, wow, look at these tasting notes. Um, this hop um, would be ideal for what brewers are looking for today. Wow, and, and it sounds like it's going to become a hit. Well, let's give this a taste. Um, get a lot of um, citrus in the aroma. You do. Yeah, there's definitely, and it's not the sweet, sticky citrus, it's a real crisp, kaffir lime, grapefruity. Um, and I think the, oh, the, the hops is just incredible, isn't it? It's a lot so of mandarin and orange peel in there, but also it's sort of nearly a savory note, which if you say onion, it might, might not be desirable. It's probably a little bit more spring onion than onion, but it's um, it's, it's quite interesting. Fresh. It's almost grassy and fresh, and it's certainly not sticky sweet because I know a lot of these things are sort of have that stickiness on yeah, one well, end. Yeah, this is um the, the, the same on the, the same base recipe for the one trick ponies. They're, they're all the same recipe, and all we've done is change the hop out. So it's an, a chance for people to actually drink the beer side by side and go, wow, what I'm tasting is coming all from that hop, and all the beers are the same beer, but it's just the hop pretty much. Painted on top of the malt canvas to like really accentuate and highlight just what that hop can do. Oh, isn't that amazing? Yeah, I didn't realize that. So, so there's three in the series. Isn't three it? in the series there's now, the... and who knows what will be next? Yeah, looking forward to it for sure. But the comet, I mean, to me, the comet is probably a lot lighter in taste and it's a lot more refined than the mosaic is. Uh, they, the mosaic had a lot more fruit, beers, a lot more um, tropical fruits, it was a lot more rich. Whereas this is yeah, a lot more defined and clean and sort of to the point and, and citrusy. It is indeed, yeah. Much, and and it's, it's a lot drier as well. So if you like sort of the drier drinks. Not, it's probably, yeah, it's probably, probably a bitterness more than anything because like I say, it is, it is the same beer and it's probably the, the perceived bitterness from this hop and probably not as much fruit or oil that you're drinking that you can perceive as a bit sweet. So it's, uh, it's a lot of fun to be able to try these different hops by themselves and just see how they, they work. It is indeed, yeah, and it's a bit of an undercover brother, isn't it, Luke? It's um, how strong undercover is? brother. What it does is. that even mean? <laughs> oh, I, I can just imagine the sneaking up on you. How strong is the um, comet? This is six point two percent. The mosaic was six point one, and the uh, Zythos was six point zero. So we sort of like brought in the sort of software scenario there. So each time it's a point one more. Oh wow, that's um, that, that, that's a good idea. It's very technical, isn't it? Oh, it's a little bit of fun. Most of our labels have got something quirky in them, which um, there's a lot of inside jokes and yeah, it's uh, about getting to know the brand yeah. and and uh, hearing the stories about. Yeah, yeah you've got to have fun with it, don't you? Yeah, well, you've you got to have fun you with do. it. That's right. Yeah, because um, fair I isn't mean, too serious. Yeah, <laughs> definitely not. Well, cheers, Luke. That's fantastic. Well, thanks. Cheers.